Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 27 to the power x plus 3 to the power x equal to 30. So if you know an answer, if you feel an answer, write your suggestion in comment, write your answer in comment. So let's try to solve it. First of all, I see that this 27 can be written as 3 cube. And then we will have the same basis. So let's do this. Let's write this 27 as 3 cube. So we will have 3 cube to the power x. And this on the right the same, so we will have equal plus 3 to the power x equal to 30. What we're going to do next? Of course, we can swap this exponent, these powers, because we know the rule of interchange. If we have a to the power x raised to the power b, we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power x. Nothing hard, just using this rule, and it's a really good case because we this can be written as 3 to the power x cube plus 3 to the power x equal to 30. So right now we can see that these 3 to the power x and 3 to the power x can be written or maybe we can let a substitution right here. So let this 3 to the power x equal to t for example. And right now we will have an interesting cube equation. So we will have an equation t cube plus t and I bring this 30 on the left minus 30 equal to 0. So this is our cube equation. So let's try to find our roots, our t. How can you do this? Of course, let's try to find our factors. Let's try to find factors of this 30. And then we, of course, can factor out maybe t minus 1, t minus 2, t minus 3, t plus 2, something like that. Okay, let's find our factors plus minus 1, plus minus 2, of course plus minus 3, plus minus 5, plus minus 6, plus minus 10, plus minus 15, and plus minus 30. Let's check real quick, maybe we can find a real quick um, factor right here. So let's check plus 1, we will have 1 plus 1 minus 30, not good, minus 1 is as well as not good. Let's check plus 2, we will have 8 plus plus 2, minus 30, this is not good for us. Let's check minus 2 real quick, this is not good for us. Let's check 3, we will have 27 plus 3 minus 30, this is good for us. So I don't want to waste your time and check all of these. So we can factor out, looking like that, we can factor out t minus 3. But we need to find, of course, our second parentheses. So how can we find our second parentheses? I want to suggest you a little bit trick right here because we have t cube plus t and minus 30, our equation. But we don't have t square and we can, of course, use a little bit trick right here. So write this t cube from here. But we need t minus 3 factor out as a common, but we don't have t square. So we write something like that, minus 3t square and plus 3t square. And right here we can factor out t square and we will have t minus 3. But this, in the same way, this is equal to 0. So we change nothing, of course. So let's go right here. We have t right here, but we need t minus 3 to factor out as a common. So we write minus 9t and plus 10t. This will be equal to t, so we as well change nothing. This will be equal to t and minus 30 equal to zero. And now take a look. t cubed minus 3t square. We can factor out t square and in parentheses we will have t minus 3. Really good, t minus 3. Right here, 3t square minus 9t, we can factor out 3t. And in parentheses we will have as well t minus 3. And right here we can factor out, of course, 10. And in parentheses we will have t minus 3 equal to zero. Real good case right now, because we can factor out this t minus 3, we have t minus 3 near this variable, near this and near this value, so we can factor out this t minus 3, t minus 3, factor out as a common. And in parentheses we will have t square plus 3t and plus 10, equal to 0, just taking this to this, this parentheses. Okay, obvious solution, t minus 3 equal to 0 and t equal to 3. And of course we can 
real quick, find our x. So 3 to the power x equal to 3, because 3 to the power x equal to t, t equal to 3, 3 to the power x equal to 3, and our first root, x equal to 1. So let's find another root. Let's find, let's solve our next parentheses. So we have t square plus 3t and plus 10 equal to 0 from here. How can we solve this? Of course, I see right now that our square root will be equal to 9 minus 40 will be equal to minus 31. I guess, yeah? 3 minus, it will be b square, 9 minus 4ac, it will be 9 minus 40 minus 31, so our square root is less than 0. So, of course, in this case, we will have complex roots. Complex roots. And if you're interested with this, you can solve it. Solve this quadratic equation to go to our substitution. And of course, you will have complex roots. But we're interested in real number. And But if you're interested in complex root, of course, you can solve it using this quadratic equation. Just find t2 and t3 put this right here and find complex roots. If you agree with the solution, if you disagree, maybe you have any question, maybe you have a faster method how to solve this, so try to solve it, write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and see you in the next video. Have a good day.